even yeah. even if he's exonerated and proven innocent in every case and it was a, a, a just a, a complete um misunderstanding or that the person was lying we, we don't know but that, that'll follow him forever it'll be used and it'll be used in um YouTube videos and like all these different channels will always bring that up. Conspiracy and they'll, they'll, theorists. And conspiracy theorists. They'll, ex, they'll exploit it and, and get as much as they possibly can uh, from this story. So, yeah, sadly, we'll follow. You at DTMerch.com. There's so many other things that you can do over there and see, such as our new videos, new videos that are up on TikTok and up on YouTube. But what I really want you to do is I want you to go and first of all, you can start by looking at that banner in the middle of DT Merch, clicking that. So you can go over to x1entertainment.com slash double dash toasted so you can get tickets for Double Toasted Live in New York City, Brooklyn to be more exact. That's April 1st. And that's going to be a show starting at 8 p.m. at the Roulette Intermedium for a night of comedy, games, and much, much more. You're going to have a great time while you're there. So this weekend, Martin... You know, I, and I knew this while you were partying and having a good time, <laughs> while you out there dancing and getting your moves on, Jonathan Major was getting arrested. And I said, I could tell Martin, but that, you know, that's going to ruin his weekend. So I said, <laughs> let me let me just let him just be ignorant right now okay. of this. You don't know how that brother's always looking guilty, too. Ooh, ooh, what <laughs> would what, I do? <laughs> you know, every time I take a picture, you got them lips going, yeah. ooh, 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 me? <laughs> I, 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 I didn't do nothing. <laughs> But yeah, Jonathan Majors, he got arrested this weekend. And listen, we ain't gonna make a laugh and matter or anything out of this. We don't, you know, we're not we're gonna we're gonna take this uh we're gonna take this seriously. But uh Jonathan Majors, man, yeah, he he got arrested this weekend and he got arrested for domestic abuse. Ooh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh so the girlfriend or the the woman in question here she uh she she has uh minor injuries on her neck for uh for, st for strangulation strangulation yeah. <laughs> hey you know what anytime you say strangulation ain't nothing ain't nothing light about that no, <laughs> that's a big no, word no. yeah <laughs> you still put your hands around somebody's neck <laughs> right, <laughs> right choke them out you know yeah, right yeah, no matter how light it might have been it don't ever sound light and uh and you know some other things happen but hey, it, it 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 made major news Breaking news overnight and Creed 3 actor Jonathan Majors arrested on an assault charge here in New York City. Police say she sustained minor injuries to her head and neck and was taken to the hospital. Well, hey, no. well, hey everybody. <laughs> that, that, that. Happy story right there. Subscribe. No, you know. <laughs> uh, OK, so. I really hope this is not true. And let's have our priorities straight when we say that. I hope this is not true because, well, first of all, you know, no one wants anybody to be assaulted. Right. Of course. You know, no one wants anybody to be victimized. Listen, you know, that's 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 the first thing right there. Uh, you know, no, especially a woman. No, no one wants to hear about a woman getting battered and abused in a domestic dispute uh, or domestic abuse case. Mm -hmm. uh, also, you know, and this is obvious. Uh, we all love this actor very much. Like everybody else out there, everybody's loving Jonathan Majors right now. Uh, and he's at the most important and crucial part of his career. So, you know, I, I hate to see somebody who is right there. Blowing up. Yeah, blowing up. Because he ain't his, he hasn't reached his his full potential no, yet, no, his no, full no. form. No, <laughs> well, we, we, it's funny because this weekend we saw him in a commercial. It was for the Army. Mm. But it was one where it wasn't just his voice. It's, you know, showing him. And I was like, wow, they recognize that he has recognition to put him out there yeah. like this. Yeah, it's like if, exactly. he, if he hasn't made it, he is right there on the cusp. I was like, I was like, I think he's made it now that he's done this. Oh, no, he's he's thing is, he's made it, but he's still there's talk about him with Oscars. Now, mm -hmm. there's talk about yeah. the roles that are coming up for him. Leading man. He'll be leading yeah, man. yeah, leading man. Mm -hmm. You know, listen, a whole franchise is being built around him. Right. He's the main villain. He's supposed to be the main yeah. villain. <laughs> Shit, he's the next phase for a whole franchise. Thanos. He's the next he's Thanos. He's the next Thanos. King is the next phase right here. So, you know, he still hasn't reached his full potential yet. And also, I hope this isn't true because oh, look, he's a big <laughs> man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the thought of him assaulting anybody I know. is scary. Mm -hmm. You know, so. <laughs> and like, <laughs> Your Honor, my, my client clearly didn't do it because the woman is still alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's your I mean, right there. Wait, yeah. look, when we. When, just watching Creed felt like a violation. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it feel like this was fair? <laughs> I said, the only reason you won Creed because it was a movie. 
This man would have killed you. <laughs> Shit, this shouldn't have been Creed. Yeah, this should have been Jonathan Majors versus King Kong. <laughs> or Godzilla. He should have been the third one that came in been, and, yeah, right, fought, right. and whooped both their asses. Right. <laughs> Y'all should have bought that goddamn horn. Right. Right. Knock it off, you two. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this is, uh, now this is alleged. So I'm not trying to come in and say anything about this. What I will say is that this is still a developing story. So even when yeah. you see this, this might have changed. Things might be different right now. You know, and as much as I as as I love the guy, this is and as much as I hate hearing any woman be anybody, but especially a woman be assaulted. Uh, this is still a he said she said situation right now. Actually, it's kind of things that things are shifting because. The story in a very short amount of time, in less than 24 hours, uh, this is a New York, I'm sorry, the Los Angeles Times. Jonathan Major's attorney claims woman recanted assault allegations after arrest. Mm. Now, this isn't me celebrating for him or anything. I'm just saying the story's changing because, hey, this could shift another way again. Sure. We don't know. Right. It's so, man, this thing is so early. But, uh, and the thing is, even when, right now, with us simply saying, I don't want to say much because these are all allegations. He said, she said, the story is still shifting. Mm. People mad about that. You know he did that shit. <laughs> you hey, just don't want to admit yeah, it. You, like you know he beat that woman's ass. Or, or, or you got other people, man, that bitch, she lying. You know she's just trying to get paid. Come on, man. Recognize it for what, you know, people want you to take a side. It's that tribalism. Yeah, no, they want you to make a declarative statement on it, even if you have any facts or no facts. They just want you to, yeah, do that. Pick a yeah. side. Somebody, no, y'all quit playing. Somebody said, man, no, I got, I know the answer. It was a variant. He didn't do it. <laughs> come on. Y'all, come on, y'all stop playing. I, that joke passed my head, but I said, I won't be serious. You had to come in and throw everything off. That wasn't the real Jonathan Mitchell. I mean, that was Kane that did this shit. Just throw off his rep as the villain. Yeah. I, <laughs> yes. But, you know, see, that's what I want to talk about. I want, I want, I want to talk about public reaction. When I say public reaction, I, that's including the business side of things. That's including what these corporations think about this. Because there's, there's a lot of, there's a, you, you want to talk about variance. There's a lot of, there's, there are a lot of timelines mm. where this thing could go yeah. with this. Because um, the studio reaction is one of those things. Public reaction is one of those things. You know, f fan reactions. There's so many things that are involved here with this. And, you know, and people are already looking at this. And no wondering how this is going to be handled in light of, sadly, other situations that have happened like this not that long ago. Mm -hmm. You know, we're having a string of things like this happen. And not saying that anyone's guilty or not guilty here. I'm just saying we're getting a lot of these headlines, man, in some form or another. Because a lot of people looking at this right now and they're wondering, they're saying, well, damn, it's, uh, and now it's Jonathan Majors. Is he, is he going to be to Marvel? what Ezra Miller is to DC. <laughs> right, yeah. right. You know, it's like, cause, cause you know, man, listen, let's, let's be honest. I hate to say this, but Disney and Marvel, they ain't thinking about that woman. They ain't thinking like, God <laughs> damn, why do you have right. to do this now? Right. Can't, can't! <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know, they, 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 yeah. they're thinking, they are thinking about this woman, I'm sure, but this priority is about the money. They're like, mm -hmm. we have a whole mm -hmm. series of films that are about to come out right now, and they are being put in the Ezra Miller situation. Probably not for long. It probably wasn't gonna be as long as it is for Ezra Miller. Yeah. Right. Uh, I mean, it's still possible to swap out another villain if they had to. No, it no, it is. A, a lot easier than it is to swap out the Flash. No, it no, it is. And I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit. It very much is. And if I was Jonathan Majors. And in this position, that's the thing I'd be more, more, most nervous about. The nature of his character makes it way too easy for him to switch this out. But the thing is, is that I think Ezra Miller, and I'm not trying to you know, compare notes or anything like that. I'm just saying, if you really had to, if you, if you ask me, given what everybody said, I look at what Ezra Miller did, you know, because from, from what I see, there, there's, there seems to be some sort of proof out there, at least something strongly alluding to Ezra Miller grooming people. Mm -hmm. Now you're talking about abuse and, and, and women. Shit, we got Ezra Miller on, on camera. You know, I don't know if he was playing or not, but he looked like he's, you know, did, being crazy with women. Learn it. Please no Did you want to fight? So subscribe and share and make a like for the video. Whoa, bro, bro, bro. And follow bro, us on the Facebook. Can you have to learn it? Okay. <laughs>
that in them dude. I didn't know he was. <laughs> bro, 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 bro. <laughs> Why they fight? I thought I thought the dude filming it would say, "Please like and subscribe to me." <laughs> 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 he's, he's over there promoting. What he's also filming us yeah. so, You know this. This is a. Uh, you got Ezra Miller on camera doing physical. Now, I don't know. I don't know if they were playing or not, but it looks like this woman like, whoa, whoa, shit. Wait a minute. Oh, I, know. I, 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 thought, I thought we, we were playing. Thought we were playing. Yeah. yeah. You know, Ezra Miller's been caught doing a lot of, of crazy stuff. They have been doing some wild stuff. And um, Warner Brothers in DC, they bent over backwards. Mm -hmm. They are, they are bending over backwards trying to trying to pitch a narrative that this man just needs help or they just need help. They're right. doing their best right now. Give them a chance and you're gonna love the Flash. You know they they are. <laughs> but well, you know Warner Brothers is, is a lot more flexible than the mouse is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See. Yeah. And well, uh, Warner Brothers is see no Warner Brothers is to a certain point because my point is while. While Ezra Miller has gone out there and they have done a lot of wild stuff, it is something about that domestic abuse label that really freaks people out. Because Ezra Miller grooming, you know, fighting, getting arrested, burglarizing, places. burglar, breaking, stealing alcohol. Yeah. Now that's just what well, you just. I mean, he's also assaulted people. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. He has yeah. done that. Yeah. 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 And, and they've been women. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. when you Multiple. just slap those words "domestic abuse" together. Everybody freaks out. And I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm just saying, what about all this other stuff? Because when it came down to domestic abuse charges with 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 Justin Roiland, now you did a lot of stuff, and I think really they were just trying to get rid of his ass. Yeah. <laughs> but when that domestic abuse charge came out, they got rid of him, and that was Warner Brothers also. Hmm. So, but I think Justin Roiland. If I had to be fair, the, the the difference is they just got tired of him. They were looking for anything because mm -hmm. this man was going around talking about his sex life and threesomes and. Rolling in remote control cars in the rooms when he's supposed to be in meetings, you know they probably just kinda, tired of kind of grooming young girls. Well, know. see, that's what I'm saying. You know, the grooming stuff. They, I, I, Ezra Miller was grooming. Yeah. Well, I feel like they, they could afford slide. to get rid of Justin Rowling because those brands were already bigger than he was. They were mm. already in place. They already had everything. So now it's like, all right, now we just get rid of you and we can just keep these things going. Yeah. Now the thing of Ezra Miller is that's a 250 million dollar movie. Which yeah. you know they they have to they have to sell that that film right. exactly and so you know yeah they have to keep him around for now for now are they gonna keep him around I highly doubt it because they don't want to deal with someone like that because he might you know or they might go crazy again I do and too so yeah. you know but Jonathan Major situation which we, again we don't know how it's gonna play out he, he doesn't have any he hasn't filmed as far as I know any any Marvel things after you know Am and the Lost Quantumania or anything else like Loki I think that's all done. And so, you know, we'll see if it plays out. It's like, oh, we can't well, get rid of you because we don't have anything yeah. uh, um, that, that you're in right now. Well, I mean, again, that just, you know, hearing about domestic abuse. Mm. Think about Johnny Depp. Right. Domestic abuse. Everybody was ready to jump on Johnny, Johnny Depp because of domestic abuse. Mm. Now, if we still this is so wild. I don't even know what happened with these two anymore. Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. I mean. You know, it I, seems to be over. It's over, but, but a lot I mean, of people, they already put, you know, they already pulled Johnny Depp from that that Harry Potter franchise, which, yeah, which died yeah. anyway. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> nobody, yeah, he lucked out with that. Yeah. yeah, but you know, just that domestic abuse charge was, uh, or you know, accusation even. Just it's something about that that just freaks people out. Which is, you know, if I was uh, Jonathan Majors, that's what I'd be nervous about. Uh, again, mm. you know, because uh, given the nature of his character, so. What's it gonna be? Batman. Domestic abuse, that's what it's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> he probably made the call. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'll fix his ass. <laughs> uh, nah, you know, Ant-Man, uh, you know, in Ant-Man, that's where he premiered as Kang. See, the thing with Kang is that Given the nature of that character, the you know, as a variant, they could easily come in and bring in another variant. Yep. As yeah, they can bring in Terrence Howard now. <laughs> I'm saying they switched out roadies like it wasn't yeah. nothing. Yeah, <laughs> and asked us to pretend like we didn't notice. And that was nothing. <laughs> yeah, they could, they easily got it. They said, "Well, man, what's a timeline where he doesn't look the same?" Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. And oh my God, he doesn't look like you, and he's the worst one. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Not the Terrence Howard King. <laughs> oh, 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 they'll explain that you know uh, when he went to that portal thingy, his face got messed. Up. Yeah, exactly. It's one of those things. Yeah, that's oh, funny. Huh? <laughs> or Chris Herman, they go like, you know what? How about we just. Put Doctor Doom in this slot. With oh, all the stuff we had planned. Yes, yeah. he was behind it all <laughs> the whole time. He made the call. 
<laughs> Kane will know only Doom. In fact, make a CG Jonathan Major's face and pull it off, and there's a can, there's a Doctor Doom a face. Doctor Doom, yes. It was me the whole time. I was really a white man the whole time. <laughs> but I, you know. I'm not saying that that's what will happen because this thing is still developing. Man. It's developing. I mean, yeah. uh, you imagine maybe he's going to be in Loki season two. I would think so. Which they've, they've confirmed. Season which two. which yeah. is uh, that I man? That's probably shot already, right? It's coming out July. Yeah, yeah. So that's <laughs> that's done, and they got to go with that. Mm -hmm. And for all we know, by the time they're ready to actually shoot yeah. another movie with Kang, this could have died down. Chanel, yeah. what somebody said, no, nah, I want Terrence Howard. <laughs> somebody, I'm, I'm Kang, man. <laughs> Kang, yeah, man. He's man, man. Pythagoras' is, uh, flower of life. <laughs> that's that's, right. how, that's yeah. what he'll do. He'll just confuse people. Yeah. Yeah. So, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> and, and that way you don't get your big Marvel ending. It yeah. ends with them going like, okay, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to lay something else on you, Ant-Man. <laughs> Ant-Man, what the f***? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm coming in and interrupting my own video. Excuse me for that, everybody. Plus, I didn't think any kind of funny or fancy segue would be appropriate for this video. But I do have to stop and tell you about our sponsor, HelloFresh. I've told you about HelloFresh a lot. And HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. Why? Because they make cooking healthy meals simple with quick and easy meals that you can make in 30 minutes or less. They also make eating well and healthy and expensive. Not only are you saving time, and time is money, but not only are you saving time by not standing in a grocery store line, but you're also saving money because HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout. And no matter what your dietary lifestyle is like, HelloFresh, they got you. You can customize your meals to your liking. HelloFresh makes all that possible for you. And also, I have a lot of Toasties out there telling me how much they enjoy HelloFresh based on our recommendation. I've eaten HelloFresh a lot. I'm gonna tell you something, guys. I mean, this is guy to guy. Hey, look, if you uh, got a date coming over or anything like that, Throw that HelloFresh bag away. I mean, you know, pay your respect to them, but put that bag away. Make that girl think you're cooking a nice meal. And women like nothing more than a man that can cook. Trust me. Trust me on that. So all you Toshis out there, join the Toshis that have told us how much they enjoy HelloFresh. You need to be the next one. Go over to HelloFresh.com slash Double Toasted 60 and use the code double toasted 60 for 60% off plus free shipping. I don't know what else we need to do to get you on this. You're saving so much money and you're gonna feel so good when you're cooking your own meals and you're gonna impress somebody out there by showing them your cooking skills. Trust me, I've done it before, I'm speaking from experience. I wanna thank HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of the show, sponsoring this video, and I wanna thank all of you out there for your support as always, thank you. And I hope this gets settled sooner than later. Either I hope you know, again, if, it, if this ha if this did happen, you know, justice for the victim. All right, but if not, I hope they hurry up. And if he's innocent, then get it out there and prove it because sure. that stigma stays yeah. on you, man. It you know it's 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 sad either way, especially if he if he's innocent, because you know a simple accusation can it can hurt your image, man. Sure, even if the claims are untrue. You know, we were talking about this uh, my, on, my, on my way back from uh, this wedding I went to. My friend and I in the car, we were talking about this. And we were talking about just in January, there there was a coach, uh, the, oh. the, head, the head basketball coach over at UT, Chris Baird. He was also arrested for domestic abuse charges. And then he was fired by UT on January 5th. I think that's when it was. The charges were dismissed later. And his fiance came out and said that he was actually defending himself. He was trying to fight back against me and that's how I got whatever whatever bruises or whatever you see on me. Uh, mm. You know, uh, charges were dropped, but you know, he lost his job at UT. Now later, I think he was hired by Mississippi. I think, uh, y'all can tell me, I don't, I'm not sure. <clears throat> but there are still people out there saying, well, Victims still recant, you know, they recant out of fear or they recant because some, they were coerced or paid, mm. you know. So this guy still has it on him where people are saying that, well, I, you know, sure, the charges were dropped, but I ain't buying it. Mm. You know, somebody reports abuse. You're an abuser. You know, it's it's, it's really hard to get that off of you. Yeah. Well, that, well, that's sports where people are used to that. And now if you start winning, they, they just look the other way. Yeah. In, in this game, the acting and all, that's not so much the, the case. 
Well, I, I, I actually, I do think that's the case because I think there's a lot of people out there who, you know, again, you know, uh, they are and, and, and as people should be, because, listen, women, women do. They have it bad when it comes to accusing somebody of domestic abuse or rape or, you know, any kind of any kind of violation against them. It is hard to you know, it is hard for them to come forward and say because a lot of people don't believe them uh, or they're scared to do it. And especially when they, when, you know, if they're going up against somebody who's famous, mm-hmm. you know, because, you know, they're they're afraid of a backlash from fans, the public, and, and people don't want, you know, people don't want to give up their heroes or people don't want to give up something that they, that they like, you know, yeah. y'all want my, I don't want my sports ruined. I don't want my entertainment ruined. I don't want my image of this person, of this person, uh, tarnished my worship of this person tarnished. So, you know, Jonathan Majors being a famous person, of course, there's going to be people out there saying that, oh, he has the money to buy this person out. Or of course he did it. You know, he just, his fame intimidates this person. Now I'm sure people are going to say that. And so that's the problem with this right here. When I say once that once that image is put on you, once that accusation is put on you, it sticks in a way, you know, mm-hmm. and it's hard. Yeah. And, you know, l- l- let's go ahead and admit something that's uh, that's 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 uncomfortable. It's an uncomfortable truth. Uh, Jonathan Major is not only a black man, he's a big black man, you know, and. and <sighs> As much as I, as we would love to say we're you know beyond certain prejudices, a lot of people still associate the big black image with 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 violence, with being scary, you know. But mainly with violence. There's a lot, you know. That's that's. I hate to say it, but that is something that is going to hurt his image too. Mm-hmm. You know, Justin Roiland is not as intimidating as. <laughs> 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 you know, I'm sorry. A lot of a lot of people. A lot of people looked at Justin Roy and they said, man, I wish he'd do something. I'll whoop his ass. <laughs> Those are women saying that. <laughs> women say, I'll beat the shit out of him. He tried to do something. You know, people looking at uh, uh, Jonathan Mayer like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah, so, you know, man, it's a, it's a, it's a rough thing, but you know what I mean. When it, and that's that's pretty much my big thing on this right now. Like I said, I, I'm trying to refrain from saying so uh, too much because this is still something I think is developing, and it's really hard to say anything that's for sure when it's this early. Sure, yeah. I just hope that it's not true for everybody involved, man. Right, and and it's a shame to, either way. If he did it, it's bad. If he didn't do it, someone lied or exaggerated something, tried to ruin somebody. So there's no one comes out of this clean. Mm-hmm. No one's coming out of this clean at all. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Maybe, you know, I don't know. I don't. Know. I ain't saying. No, no, I, I, I've avoided making any type of declarative statement on this because we, we don't have all the facts yet. It's just uh, I, I do feel like just when you just see that headline already, it's just it's out there in the ether. Mm-hmm. And it's probably going to follow him for a very long time, even yeah. even if he's exonerated and proven innocent in every case. And it was a, 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 just a, a complete um, misunderstanding or that the person was lying. We, we don't know, but that, that'll follow him forever. It'll be used and it'll be used in. Um, YouTube videos and like all these different channels will always bring that up. Conspiracy and they'll, they'll, theorists. And conspiracy theorists. They'll, ex, they'll exploit it and, and get as much as they possibly can uh, from this story. So, yeah, sadly, we'll follow. And there's always going to be the racists out there saying, oh, yeah. I told you so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's still, <laughs> it's still, there's <laughs> racist stuff. They just, y'all just make shit up. Like every, every time they say a white woman about to wear, marry a black man, like, oh, you know, 90% of deaths of white women wearing black men. In, 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 de- oh, no, I'm sorry. 90% of marriages of white women wearing black men uh, end up in death. Oh. <laughs> Who said that? Racist. racist oh. Yeah, okay. they make up numbers. They say right. 90% of white women wearing, marrying black men end in death because the black man went crazy, killed <laughs> Yes. Uh, I can tell you that 100% of marriages end in death because somebody <laughs> has to die at some point. Well, they say at the hands of the black man. Oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, they make up numbers all the time. But, it, you know, there's a lot of things that, that that's when you're John, when you're somebody like John, Jonathan Majors, that that shit. Yeah, it, it, it can go wrong, man. Yep. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I hope that this is uh, something that works out with them. Anyway, kind of shocking, huh? Yeah, but you know the way you teed it up was like, oh, okay. I thought it was. I was had worse things in my head. You murdered someone. <laughs> <laughs> you can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, you about to murder somebody right now. <laughs> He's looking at you. What do yeah. you say? <laughs> you making a video about me? <laughs> you better clip that shit off. Man, I ain't say nothing. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't even see you over there. <laughs> oh, Jonathan Majors. Yeah, it's me. Hey, I see you come in. Cut that shit off. Oh, hey, man, it was him. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's been pulled. It's going to suck if it's true, yeah. There you go. So they're already, take, they're already pulling stuff. Pulling What are they pulling? Pulled the, the, the ad. Oh, there you go. Oh. They, they, it's already starting. They pulled his ad. Mm -hmm. Jonathan Majors, U.S. commercials pulled after actors arrest for alleged assault. I told you, man. The stuff's it's it's, it's going to affect some kind yeah. of way. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. And, and certain people, and listen, there are certain people. And they treat this as a business, and they just they, they don't care about somebody's innocence or guilt. They say, "How is this affecting us? Mm -hmm. We just we don't want to be associated with this right, right now. Right. No hard feelings. We hope we hope that it works out for the best for you. By the way, Jonathan, we got your back, man. But you know how this looks for us, right, <laughs> baby? You know. Yeah. So they yeah they they're already pulling stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and some uh, organization <laughs> like the army doesn't need that. Oh no! Ooh, yeah, was was John the major ever? Was he ever in the army? I don't know. He's played a soldier a bunch. No, there you go. It's funny because I saw y'all in the chat. I thought that was a commercial for devotion. I didn't know that was for the. I didn't know that was for the army. Yeah, golly, devotion, Lovecraft Country. Uh, yeah, Lovecraft. Uh, what was that one with Christian Bale? Hostels. Uh, yeah. Uh, the oh, yeah. the five bloods. Yeah, that's true. Oh, mm -hmm. let me see, and. Man, the crazy stuff even crossed my mind. I'm, I'll be honest with you, because you know when I heard that, I was like, "Well, shit, do you think he got roided out? <laughs> you know, you think he had roid rage?" Because I looked, man, I, I looked at a picture of him today, and he it was a picture of him. And, and listen, I didn't think he had roid rage or anything. I for you know how people just think crazy in the mm -hmm. beginning yeah, when they yeah. hear mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. My mind went in all kind of crazy areas. I'm like, "Oh shit, he got roid rage. It went crazy on somebody." But I will say this: I looked at him and. In oh, was it Lovecraft Country? Mm -hmm. He's big in Lovecraft. Yes, Country. He, he ain't Creed big in Lovecraft Country. True. And I just said, and I, I, I said, man, okay, look, I'm gonna, I believe what you tell me, but chicken and rice, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> just chicken and rice. Man, all those actors lie about that. They, they take human growth hormone to get big and then stop when the roll's over. Which I don't have a problem with. Sure. They now they have a testosterone, uh, testosterone, testosterone, testosterone yeah. replacement. Mm -hmm. And I, and there's people that they, they tell you straight up, that's what I do. Yeah. Shit, I would do it if I didn't have, if I don't want to be poking myself all the time and if i could afford it that shit is 150 dollars a pop oh and i think you wow. got to do that i don't know how often do you have to do that y'all because i probably once a week you know because I, I read about this for a friend and <laughs> 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 and uh yeah chris i found some information oh thanks for you. man yeah, no, man. yeah, yeah. I, need it. I need it yeah, yeah. I need the, and the what i found was replacement. uh testosterone replacement treatments man I, that i i was reading that i thought it had to be like what is 150 dollars a pop and you do it every week I don't know if that could, you know, that's a lot of money. So that's a, I think didn't speaking of another Marvel actor like Kumail Nanjiani, he was a, he did Eternals like he he got super buff. I think he talked about that. Mm -hmm. He's like he admitted. I was like, oh yeah, yeah. They 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 have a whole regimen, whole program for us to get in this way. I think he might have mentioned that. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of people who come out and they get these bodies and they say, don't do this. They say, boy, <laughs> you can't do this. You can't you can't afford the coach that I have. You can't afford the nutritionist yeah that I have. Mm -hmm. And and if there is something going on with some sort of uh, you know hormone treatment or testosterone treatment, uh, yeah, they probably get that. But I know, I think Stallone does testosterone replacement treatments. I'm sure. I think he even said it. I think mm -hmm. I think Rogan, Joe Rogan, uh, does it. I don't think he's on a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's so yeah he's so huge now, man. I just I just that I don't think that's just. I don't think that's just chicken and rice. No. Maybe chicken and waffles. <laughs> you know, I, mean, I, was like, I don't know, man. But he is very strict about his uh, exercise, too. He's very strict about it at this moment. I mean, a lot of his roles are dependent on it. But yeah. You well, know, I, I wonder, because, yeah, to be, you know, the boxer he is in Creed, yeah, you'd have to get that way. Yeah. But I think a lot of roles don't require you to be like, if you're going to be just a normal person, yeah. you show up looking like that, and it makes the audience go, hmm, okay, yeah. well. Yeah. So and, I would think that at least hope that when he, when he's done, he's like, all right, let me relax. Some. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, yeah, I'd love to see how this would be when this works out. I'd love to see him persevere if this is not true. Meanwhile, it's already a petition going around. Kevin Hart is king. And that's what they want. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sign it. Give it to me. <laughs> yeah, you want that till you get it. <laughs> man, I don't care about it. No way. <laughs> Ant Man, after Ant Man, I want to see that. Smaller than Ant Man. I was about to say, hey, if you're going to do Ant Man, hire a man the size of an ant. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see him stretch himself. Yeah. New role.
<laughs> Come in with that big ass helmet on, looking like a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> Darth helmet. <laughs> Avengers! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Binge me, man! Get me off the ground, man! This helmet is heavy! <laughs> People said, walk away. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> we just defeated Kane. Pushed him over. We didn't do anything. We just tripped him. He couldn't get up. He's like a turtle. <laughs> come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Catch him in the backseat making out with some chick that's not married. Oh, oh, oh. Why you got to bring that oh, shit up? <laughs> hey, we got, hey, we got proof, Kang. Mm -hmm. All right, hey, man, shut up, man. I got nothing to say. Y'all go ahead. I don't want this shit no way. <laughs>